You don't need to learn a lot of front end frameworks. You don't need to learn a lot of back end frameworks. One back end, one front end, become an expert. That's enough. Hey there, this is Akshay Madan and welcome back to a new video. The topic of this video is what I'm going to learn in my final year. So I've just given the exams of third year, if you don't know, and now I'm going to go in the final year of computer engineering I'm pursuing. And so many of you ask that what I'm currently pursuing, what I'm going to do in the next one year, what I'm currently learning, what I'm going to learn. So I'm going to answer all these questions. So this video is going to answer all such questions that you have asked me. And now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to, what is my one year learning plan, right? So if you want to have the same plan, you can definitely have no restrictions, but I'll personally suggest you that you should sit on yourself and you should think which all tech stacks you have already covered. What is your own interest? How much uh, time you can give to the studies? How much time you can give to the college? And what are the things you are currently doing in your life? Because I have to also manage my freelancing agency. I have to uh, like give some time to the college. Then I have to uh, give some time to my own learnings. So like this, whatever things you are doing in your life, keep those in mind and come up with your own plan. But if you want to copy my same plan, same tech stack, definitely you can do. So let's begin. So first of all, as you know that this is my final year. And one more thing I want to tell you that in my second year, in my third year, I have not much practiced data structures and algorithms. And as you know that DS algo is not only important for your placements, but also they make you a very good software engineer because your logical thinking improves by solving the problems on lead code, hacker rank, code chef, code forces or any other platform, right? So yes, I'm going to practice DS algo a lot because I want to become a good software engineer, not just a good app developer or a web developer, right? So yes, my one year will go in solving data structures and algorithm problems. I may choose lead code platform, code chef or hacker and any other platform. Does, that does not matter. The main thing is I'm going to practice DS algo, right? So this is the first thing that I'm going to do in my next one year. Coming on to the next thing that I'm going to do is, as you know that I've already covered the Flutter. I've taught you Flutter. I have created many playlists. I've written many projects, but I have not yet covered the advanced Flutter, right? I have not, uh, I don't really know much about block pattern. I have not made any project in the block pattern. Uh, I have not created any project using the clean architecture. I'm just using the traditional, traditional folder structure architecture, right? So yes, I'm going to learn advanced flutter. I'm going to learn the MVC architecture, MVC patterns, uh, MVVC architectures, then clean architectures, block patterns, or any other state management library like Riverpod or some other libraries that I'm currently missing. So I'm going to practice those so that I become a really good Flutter developer and an advanced or an expert Flutter developer, right? So whenever I go to a job, I apply as a Flutter developer. I should not only get as a intern position, but I should get an expert position because I already know all such industrial standard uh, rules or protocols or projects or packages, right? So yes, my second thing will be learning advanced Flutter in my next one year. Number third, coming on to number third thing that I'm going to learn in the one year is custom backend. I already know Node.js, Express.js. I have made a simple web uh, project using MongoDB, using Monstack, but yet I don't think that I'm an expert in custom backend, right? So I have not created any custom backend on my own for my any app project using Flutter or any other front-end framework on my own. I've just watched the tutorials and I've cloned those projects, right? So yes, my third thing will be making a custom backend, how to make a custom backend, learning all these stuff, uh, learning the Node.js, Express.js, MongoDB uh, with Flutter, right? Because you know that I already know Flutter front-end. So I'm not going to explore much front-end frameworks, right? Because you know one front-end framework, that's totally enough. You don't need to learn a lot of front-end frameworks. You don't need to learn a lot of back-end frameworks. One backend, one frontend, become an expert, that's enough as a custom backend, right? I'm going to make APIs, I'm going to implement those APIs in my applications. So this will be my third thing. And as you know that uh, till on my channel, uh, I've only created projects using Firebase as a database, right? I've not created a project where I'm using MongoDB as a database, I'm using Amazon Dynamo as a database or any SQL database, I've not yet made. Yes, because I already, because I don't really know much about these databases, so yes, I'm going to learn Amazon DynamoDB, which is again a NoSQL database. So that will be my fourth thing you can consider or you can consider this in my custom backend only because uh, you can just replace MongoDB with Amazon DynamoDB. Just a simple here and there is there and you already know 
that stuff, right? So you can consider this Amazon DB learning inside the custom backend stuff only, right? So these are the three things that I've currently told you. First is DS Algo, second is Advanced Flutter, and third is making a custom backend with MongoDB as a, a database or Amazon Dynamo as a database or any other SQL architecture, SQL database, right? So these are the three things. Now coming to the fourth thing that I'm going to learn is blockchain. Now I'm already exploring, I have been exploring blockchain for more than two months now. And you already know that I created one video of DAP, how to create a simple voting DAP uh, with Solidity, uh, blockchain, uh, smart contract and uh, Flutter as your front end where you were voting uh, to a candidate through your Flutter app, right? And all the back end was my blockchain, Solidity smart contract, right? So you know that I've already started learning blockchain. I'm currently exploring, exploring Solidity, smart contracts. I'm aware of all the terms. But yet, I am not uh, sure that I will be able to create a fully functional web application uh, in blockchain as the backend and Flutter as a frontend, Flutter web as a frontend or React or any other frontend as, uh, as my frontend, right? So yes, I'm going to practice blockchain with Flutter because as I already told, one frontend is more than enough. So I'm going to practice blockchain with Flutter. I'm going to create dApps as, and once I am done with all these stuffs, you will already be notified because as you know that once I learn anything, I'm going to make a tutorial on that, right? So once I'll be done with the advanced letter, the tutorial of block pattern clean architecture will be there on my channel. So once I'll be done with uh, blockchain dApps, tutorials will be there on my channel, right? So you don't need to worry. I'm going to put, I'm going to learn everything and I'm going to teach you everything, right? So yes, these are the four things that I'm going to learn technically. So these are all the technical stuff. So as you know that I already I also manage a freelancing agency called Gromox where we create products of uh, products related to app development, web development, and UI UX designing. So as you know that I already know app dev. I'm uh, intermediate. I'm at the intermediate stage of web dev. And talking about UI UX, I'm not that much expert. I have a good design knowledge, but I'm not expert on with any uh, UI UX framework, right? So I'm going to learn Figma. And so that I can manage my uh, agency properly so that I'm expert in all these three things and I can manage all the products on my own. So yes, my next thing will be Figma, which is a non-technical thing. And it will be fun learning a uh, designing software or a designing uh, module uh, for my agency, for my for improving my design skills and all that. And you know that I create my thumbnails on my own. So I think it will help me there also in coming up with more unique creative designing ideas uh, for the thumbnail so that you click on my thumbnail very fastly, right? So these are all the, this, this was the non-technical thing that I'm going to learn. And lastly, I'm going to uh, take a course on business uh, skills. Uh, to improve my business skills so that I can manage my agency properly, right? So this was again a non-technical thing, but yes, I'm going to learn all these things so that I can be a good software engineer and also a good freelancer. I can manage my clients properly and serve them in a better way. Yes, so I hope that you like this video. So if you have any app dev, web dev, UI UX work, you can go to growmoms.in and you can reach out to me. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, reach out on my Instagram and till next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.